to work in the public schools and I got a phone call from a little Irish priest named Father Peter who wanted to restructure the school and he asked me to come and look at the school. I visited one day, fell in love and said yes. The greatest need is the education of our children and the care of our children and motivating our children and inspiring our kids. We get so much more out of it because what we're seeing is people live up to their potential. We're seeing a community that can achieve and can do all these things. You see the spirit of the entire community inside of this school. A lot of the kids now, like you don't see that many of them running around on the streets. So like I guess um, that benefits that they've got in here at St. Lawrence, like the after-school daycare program and the literacy, they have other things to do than run around. Through Friends of St. Lawrence and all the church events, they've gotten out the word that, hey, there's this pretty great um, part of Watts. Like, it's not all about gangs and it's not all about shooting. And I think the community has changed because before there would be a lot of gang violence, like even when I was in school, and you don't see that around here anymore. Well, I actually went to Markham at first, I used to just honestly not like going to school at the time. I mean, every day there was a fight, boys, girls, it really didn't matter. Being there and coming here, I felt a lot safer because everybody treated each other as if we were our own siblings. Oh, it made me feel very, very human-like again. There are people here that are so warm and caring and they care for each other. There's just a spirit of wanting to be here and it feels like a family and the kids are great and they're hilarious and they're smart and um, they have a lot to give. I have uh, a lot of friends. We help each other when we need help. When I was in public school, it was really different, but now that I come to St. Lawrence, I see love, I see peace. The, the school is the pearl in the community. It's the lighthouse that shows the way home for children. The joy of my priesthood is to see these children and to see Daisy. Daisy is one of my very special, special children too in the eighth grade. And Daisy has not had an easy, easy life. Her brother was killed, but she's an amazing, amazing girl. I started to come to St. Lawrence in fourth grade in the middle of the year because of a problem that happened to my family. My brother passed away, he had got shot. My family was like breaking down and we needed help and we couldn't find help, but my mom decided to come to St. Lawrence. It changed my life. I thought I was going to end up in a bad school. I thought it was, I wasn't gonna make anything in my life. To me, when my brother passed away, there was no future for me. I gave up on everything. But, and then like once I entered St. Lawrence and I started like, getting to know the teachers, the principal, I noticed that they cared for me. These teachers give of themselves and really invest themselves in these students, not just in helping them perform academically, but also in getting them to see their own potential. After school mentoring program, which is an amazing program, bringing these children up to a level. The Literacy Center was designed to teach reading to the first through fifth graders that were in the lowest quarter of their class. I had to attend literacy for a year when I was in the fourth grade. Since then, I like to read and I enjoy reading. When I went into high school, they said because my reading scores were so high, I could be in the honors class. I chose to become a tutor because I felt like the program gave me so much when I was here. I had to give back to others too. We want them to come back because they're the role models for the little kids. It's really two things that they're teaching. They're teaching them to read, and the program works very well doing that, but they're also teaching them to dream. You know, I came from the same place you did, and I can do it, and so can you. They taught me how to, um, to read and to write. I feel good because I am saying in my head that I have a opportunity to learn something and to to have a chance to improve on my grades and to I know that I could do better. They used to teach a lot of stuff about reading, um, writing, and if you didn't get something from your homework, they'll help you. My tutor, they like give us quizzes and tests to like check our writings and reading. Our, our phonics program that is scripted that the tutors are teaching. It's not just a homework help program. It's a, it's a structured phonics based program. They also read uh, 15 to 20 minutes with the children every day and then if there's time they play games or do homework with them. I like when the tutors help me read more. Now that I'm in fourth grade I improved a lot. 
My reading level is blue and I want to improve to green. That's my goal. Being a tutor is really rewarding because just for those two hours, the next day being in class will be easier for them. The Friends of St. Lawrence, like, they gave me a scholarship for high school. So I felt like this was my way of giving back to them. And I was just like, oh my God, like I can really help these kids by teaching them how to read like one-on-one. -on -one. It's, it's much more of an impact to them. And not only is it helping the younger children, but it's helping the teenagers because I have seen the growth in teenagers. I've seen their whole sense of responsibility, the sense of love, the sense of interest, and then the success stories. We've seen them graduate from Loyola University. We've seen it. I don't think I've ever met people in my life and I've lived all over like I meet here. They have so little in so many cases, but they, they give so much. Helping someone and seeing someone smile makes me really happy because you're, you know yourself that you're doing the right thing. Martha, who after 9-11 came to Father Peter and she says, this is, here's $100, Father, we have to help these people. And she made $400 a month. The father said, no, no, it's too much. And she said, no, no, I'll just eat more beans this month. After New Orleans, there was a lady who put her wedding ring in the envelope at church. And her, in Spanish, she wrote, I don't have anything to give but sell this and help those people our parents in this community make way below the poverty levels of incomes and um, have children that they're trying to get a good education for so we want to help those people the kids are grounded in learning and we challenge them that if you if you get good grades we'll help you we don't want economics to be the reason you don't go on to high school and go on to college so that was a wonderful thing to promise but now we're challenged to meet the demands we now are a victim of our own success where the need for financial support to help these kids achieve the dream that we dared them to dream is is now a reality. Almost every student at St. Lawrence is subsidized in some way, but our biggest help for families uh, here at St. Lawrence is adoptions and when we get donors to give money to help students go to Catholic school. If someone donates $1,500, if someone donates the full $2,000, what happens is that they're actually donating more because that family is going to be able to bring in fundraising, service hours, and bring us other monies as well. We do about fifty to sixty thousand dollars worth of grade school scholarships, and we manage about seventy-five thousand dollars worth of scholarships to the kids uh, going on to high school. And we do these scholarships to keep them out of the school systems in their neighborhood, the local high school that the kids would be going to graduates less than 50 percent of their senior class. They've graduated from St. Lawrence with a good education. We don't think that's the best place for them. 100 percent of our kids last year got into a Catholic high school and we're expecting the same this year. I have um, a lot of scholarships to go to Notre Dame Academy. Part of it comes from the Friends of St. Lawrence and Linda helped find me, helped find me a sponsor. Our parents now, they're paying a part of my tuition in addition to being help from the Friends of St. Lawrence. The kids write them thank you letters and send them their grades and keep in touch with them. We, we make sure they have photo, recent photos of them. You can see that your money has actually made a difference in uh, helping a child. When someone donates to St. Lawrence, that money, that investment is exponential because what ends up happening is that it helps that child, it changes that family, but then it, it's been spreading to neighbors, to the community. It's giving those kids a future into high school and college, and it's affecting the entire family's future. People see hope, as it was the word hope. When I look at Daisy and all the people, I think of the word hope. This is the hope, and this is the joy, and this is the future.